Hello my lovelies, I hope you're all doing so well. It's funny how sometimes a DIY project finds you instead of the other way around, like today for instance. I was just making my lunch and one of the things I was making was some red cabbage and I thought, well, this is the perfect opportunity to use the water that it's been cooked in because it gives off such a beautiful, strong color. And actually I bought it with the intention of, of um, experimenting with it to see, um, you know, what kind of color I can get when I use red cabbage as a natural dye. So I thought, well, why not? I'm, you know, I might as well use everything that I'm making. So rather than have it go to waste, I quickly grabbed a spare white t-shirt that I had lying around just ready for this project. And um, yeah, just did a quick DIY project. Um, and this is what happened. This is the size of the cabbage I used, obviously minus the part that I've already chopped off. So it's just about half, which I then put in a pot just with some water. Normally I would put some vinegar in with natural dyes just to hold the color, but since I was eating it, this is it. Now we're gonna fold the fabric. I'm going to concertina it like you would normally do, like if you were folding a paper fan. So it's just one forward, one under, one forward, one under. And I'm folding it vertically because I want the design to have vertical stripes going all the way down the t-shirt. So this I'm just going to continue all the way along until I've reached the end of the final sleeve. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that all the folds are as even as possible so that the design at the end is somewhat equal even. So I'm going to just double check and flatten as I go along. And that is my t-shirt totally folded up. Obviously it's not perfect, but it's as much as I can. I'm going to use my elastics and then just secure it all the way down the length of the t-shirt to keep those folds in place. And the elastics are going to just add another element to the design because where they are it's going to resist the color as well so just an even spots look how beautiful and strong that color is beautiful so I'm just going to show you what the color is like immediately when you dunk it in you can see it already takes that color instantly but we're going to let it soak in because then we'll get a true, true color. It's still boiling hot, which is why I don't want to use my hands. I'm just using the wooden spoon to press my t-shirt into the, well, the cooking liquid, basically. It's not dye. So that cabbage created a natural dye color. It looks quite gray, gray purple at the moment. But you just hang on and you'll see exactly what the color is at the end. So I just love that natural shade. It doesn't look artificially bright. It's just a beautiful natural color. And this is one of the ones that really went through a change of color. All right, it's been in the dye bath for I think two hours now. I have rinsed it out while it's still folded just to make sure that whatever color is in there stays in there and if it didn't I could just dunk it back in for a little while but um, this is the color that I'm left with which is so pretty it's this lovely um, like natural light blue color that's the thing that's nice with the natural dyes is obviously the tone is more <laughs> natural so this is my favorite part which is unfolding unwrapping and seeing what the pattern looks like I mean I have a rough idea of what it's going to be but obviously you just never really know for sure because it is a natural process so let's get all of these done the last one is off and I'm gonna unfold it now with you so we can see together what it looks like I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. It's so beautiful. It's exactly what I was hoping for in terms of the design. It's just so gorgeous. 
Oh, I am so, so happy with that. I love the vertical print. And obviously, like you might have seen in some of my other videos, once it's dried and ironed, um, the pattern will just be a lot more clear. Although it is really easy to see what it looks like already. It's so beautiful. And I was very lucky in that I found a t-shirt that was 100% cotton. So the dye was, well, so it's the perfect fabric for natural dye. It's so gorgeous. I'm so happy. All right, so I'm going to let this dry and then iron it. And then we're going to have a little bit of a try on so I can show you what this looks like. This was a little bit of an unexpected piece of magic. As soon as I applied heat, it went purple. Isn't that amazing? So now I've got this dual tone t-shirt, which is so pretty. pretty I love how it's subtle and pastel and like a like cloudy colors you know um, this is kind of the the shading that I was looking for when I made what was my first tie-dye oh the t-shirt and the socks this is kind of like the the level of subtlety and pastel tone that I was looking for with that project and I just got it automatically with with the, the cabbage. So the one thing I will say is that if you are looking for intensity of color, don't be fooled by the intensity of the cabbage's natural tone because you do lose like 99% of the intensity of the actual vegetable. And then you are left with this beautiful, soft, subtle tone, which I actually really, really love. Um, I'm not sure if I'd had more, if it would have been more intense. I don't know, but I didn't want to waste, so I used what I had. But that being said, when I poured off the cooking liquid, the color was very strong. Um, so I kind of think that this is kind of the range of tone that you're going to be getting if you are using that as a natural dye. And yeah, what a fun and unexpected surprise to see it change color when I was ironing it. And some of the purple has still stayed behind. Not a lot, I must say. It's, it's kind of disappearing. But the purple that is there still is as subtle as the blue is now. So um, it was quite strong again when it was um, affected by the heat. So the heat not only changed the color, but it also upped the intensity of the color. It was like a mood ring in a t-shirt. Um, and so now there's like slight subtleties of purple in between, which also I really, really like. Um, it's just such a nice surprise to see what comes out of natural dyes. And I did know going into it that I wouldn't be getting a purple item um, because I did read up on it and um, you know I was doing a little bit of research into my natural dye so I did know that it would be veering more towards the blue spectrum of colors so I just wanted to see like what shade and this lovely soft periwinkle pastel blue is just beautiful and I absolutely love it um, and then obviously there is playing around with the way that you fold the fabric um, to get different patterns and designs out of your, your garment or even just a flat piece of fabric if you're going to be using it as something like a tablecloth for instance. So yeah, this is definitely not the last um, natural dye project that I'll be doing. Um, I think I said it <clears throat> Sorry, in my turmeric dye video that I would like to do a series um, on the natural dyes just to see 
what colors certain things give you, what the intensity of color is. Obviously, if you look at the turmeric in comparison to this, the intensity of color is very different. Um, but I just love the surprise and the unexpected, unpredictable nature of some of the natural dyes where you just really don't quite know what to expect. So if you are wanting to dye something, I would, and but you kind of want to know exactly what you're going to get in terms of the color, the shading, the intensity, I would really do a little test square. So whatever the fabric is that you are using, um, you know, obviously if it's a garment, it's difficult to cut a piece off, but if you're using a piece of fabric that you've bought, I would really take a piece and test it out first, let it dry properly, iron it, do all the things that you would normally do to your fabric, and then see what it is at the end before you do a whole garment. I obviously don't mind what I get, um, and that's the, the fun of it for me, is just, you know, to, to see what happens, to be surprised by what happens, and I just love everything. I'm, I'm a bit biased to my own tie-dye projects. Um, but it's, it's really a lot of fun, and it's, it's so interesting. It's really so interesting to see what everyday, um, like food items, for instance, can do to fabric. It's, uh, I find it just so, 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 so fascinating. So if you liked seeing what cabbage, red cabbage, can do to a t-shirt, then please go ahead and like this video and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you did. And thank you so much for taking the time to join me today and watching this video. It's so, so nice of you. And um, yeah, until next time. Bye.